Hanzo to me is the one hero in the game that gets the most accidental eliminations overall. Even more than Junkrat, which is kind of Junkrat's thing anyways. And as much fun as it can be to play Hanzo, we've all been on the receiving end of a Hanzo arrow that we don't think should have landed. So for a hero like Hanzo to have a precision shot, bow and arrow that can one shot headshot most heroes in the game, I think most of those eliminations should be deliberate and not accidental. I mean it happens, accidentally taking out your enemy with a crazy shot happens and it's exciting. But with Hanzo it seems to be a significant percentage of those eliminations are simply spam shots that got lucky. So what do we do about this? As always, this is simply my opinion so you're free to disagree. But before you do, let me tell you some of my suggestions for reducing that number of accidental eliminations. As I mentioned in my recent Widowmaker video, I mentioned how Widowmaker telegraphs her presence on the battlefield much more than Hanzo does. As soon as she takes a shot, everyone knows it, and knows exactly where she is. There's an obvious red line and the sound her rifle makes is on par with Farah's rockets, volume wise. Hanzo is extremely silent, and in the midst of a fight, the arrows come from nowhere. And he doesn't have zoom like Widowmaker, so he can fight mid-range very effectively, which overall is a lot of fights in Overwatch. So I think his arrows should leave a nice bright trail to follow, just like Widowmaker's rifle, and a louder sound made by his arrows so that everyone would be able to hear it. I think this would help because if he gives his position away from the very first shot the way Widowmaker does, then a team can deal with him more quickly than having him fire six to eight arrows before anyone even notices that there's a Hanzo in play. The next thing I'm suggesting is he have a quiver count. See, because Hanzo doesn't reload, and honestly doesn't make much sense because it's a bow and arrow, he can spam a particular corner with arrows constantly without taking a break. The reason many shooters today use a reload animation is to disrupt that rhythm of shooting and forcing players to make a choice. Either find cover and reload in safety, or wait it out and hope you aren't killed before you finish your reload. I think adding a count on how many arrows he can fire before he needs a new quiver would help reduce the amount of spamming arrows we currently see in the game. And lastly, the thing that makes his ability to spam arrows even more dangerous is his strafe speed. It's really fast and he can peek very easily and fire a shot back to back. Now, I know he just got a strafe speed increase, so let's not try to go backwards here. But I think increasing Widowmaker's strafe speed would make her more of a competitor to Hanzo in that type of battle, and therefore can get in cheeky shots like him with peeking. But I'm still going to put reducing his strafe speed on the table for now. So what do you guys think? Do you feel the same about Hanzo's accidental eliminations? Do you think it's bad enough to be changed? Do you like or dislike any of my suggestions and have some of your own? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.